Hello everyone, it is Liam, the Deaf Do Metalhead, and today I'm doing another new wave of British death metal where I show you some underground British bands that are fucking awesome and you just simply have to check them out. And this is the video for it. So, if you're new to the channel, I'll leave links to all the bands, all that kind of things. So you don't have to go googling it, I'll literally put all the information below and make it really easy for you. So, the first band on today's list is a Bristol based band. Uh, that has been going since 2014. It's two piece. Um, features uh, a guy called Tibor, who also in the band Rofadas, which is a Hungarian based death doom band, but he is based here in England and just puts out killer music. And that is the band Crit Worm. This is their latest for 2022, their debut full length, Spewing Mephitic Putridity. Probably butchered that. But yeah, this band. It's kind of like a the UK version of Undergang almost in a way. Very slimy, very horrible, very, very guttural and it's just fucking awesome. Riffs everywhere but it's very murky, very filthy sounding and it's just great. You can get it on vinyl, CD and tape. I went for the tape because I've got the EPs already on tape so kind of my OCD said I had to do it. Sick artwork, I mean look at that. I may even pick it up on vinyl yet, because I'm like that. But yeah, I absolutely adore this band. Really, really heavy. And like I say, for a two-piece, they make a lot of noise. Um, they are a live band as well, but I'm not sure what the setup is. I think they just skip the bass part because it's so tuned down, they don't need it. But yeah, Crypt Worm are brilliant. So go check them out if you haven't. Brilliant, brilliant band. Now the next one is a Birmingham-based band that is a almost like a super group as it were it's kind of fronted by Andy Whale the drummer who is well known for being in Bolt Thrower was in Memoriam for about three albums so you know quite a well known chap as well as other projects he's done but you've also got guys who are in bands like Ashen Crown which I learnt about today fucking amazing band need to check them out more Zealot Cult which is an Irish band uh, kind of a cross between like Obituary and Aspects by Memory they were really good and then uh, Severe Lacerations, which is another new one on me, which is a really cool death metal band. So the band in question is Death Collector. This is the debut EP for this year. Uh, all performed by Andy, Ma Andy Whale, Mitch Carey, Lee Cummings and Kieran Scott. And it was also mixed and mastered by a guy called Gord Olsen from the band Darkened, which Andy Whale was also a part of. Now, this is a free track EP and it's just really, really, really good modern sounding death metal. The production is crisp, it's clear, it's punchy. The vocals from the guy from Ashen Crown are phenomenal. There's the only reason I now know that band is because he's a brilliant vocalist. They're really deep, really guttural, really ballsy, but you can understand the words. You know, real impact in the vocals. The guitars are really beefy, the riffs are fantastic. Came looking like that, if you want to check it out. Really, really strong EP. Really surprised me how good this was. And I even got a sticker, which I haven't used because it's got Andy Wells' signature on the back there, which was really cool. So, being a big bolt thrower fan, I thought I'd keep that. But yeah, this is for three songs, this goes very quickly. I think it's in like 12 minutes, something like that. And it's just brutal. Absolutely brutal. Really, really chunky, really thick, really heavy. It's just fucking awesome. So, yeah, Death Collector. Really strongly recommend that. Now, the next three are bands that are all part of one mighty nation so I'm going to say cheers to everybody from the world of Scotland but before I talk about the bands I want to recommend a YouTube channel because I like to do this now and again with new YouTubers that I think are deserving of some praise and I'm going to mention Dave Cavernous Carnage he's got a new channel which I'll put above my head now starting out on the YouTube scene like all of us just literally showing his love for underground metal and I love his videos because one even Google can't translate what the fuck he's saying. He speaks from the heart. So many swear words. I mean, I think I'm bad sometimes when I watch mine back. His are brilliant. You know, some of the stuff he comes out with is hilarious. But he also shows some really nasty, horrible music as well that I absolutely love. He's got a mega collection that spans all sorts of genres of metal. It's not just extreme metal. He's like Iron Maiden a lot, you know, so he covers all the bases. So go give him a sub. And if you do, please leave a good comment on one of his videos saying that I sent you so he knows. But anyway. The bands are all Scottish, so it's funny because Scotland, they have an absolute shite football league, but when it comes to death metal, it seems they are really, really making an impact on the scene. And I know 
they want to have their own new wave of Scottish death metal, but until they become independent, they are part of the British new wave of death metal, so there you go. But the first band is a one-man project. Uh, I'm not sure where parts of Scotland they're from, because I couldn't find that information, but the band is Putrid Fate with Feast on the Flesh. This is a debut EP, came out this year as well. Uh, what can I tell you about the band? So it's done by one guy called Rory McCauley. Probably butchered your surname, mate. You know, bass, guitar, vocals, program drums, all homemade. This is so even the tape is all done by himself. You know, printed on. Even the little J card in there has got a little picture of him looking all fly and powerful. But this is very very underground sounding death metal so you can tell certainly this is done by a one man project and like I say you've got some people that make it sound mint and have all the gear and all the toys and you've got the guys like me for example who haven't really got all the kit but they, they kind of know what they're doing and I think Rory's in the middle there he's got some amazing riffs in there but the production slightly lets it down a little bit but like I say this is a homemade EP so there's no complaints from me and it's filthy horrible death metal so you don't really want it to sound clean and shiny do you comes in about 14 minutes long and yeah I mean it even tells you on there how long it lasts so it's proper homemade but yeah well worth checking out I'm fairly sure these are sold out now I was kind of lucky to pick up a copy of this before it disappeared so hopefully this gets a repress and you know and he goes on to bigger better things so yeah future fate go check it out next one is a dry cough release this is also a debut this came out I think maybe a couple of months ago if that and is a band that are very very heavy and that is Rancid Cadaver with their debut Flesh Monstrosity this came out through Dry Cough Records a couple of months ago and again this is very nasty death metal but more in the early kind of cannibal corpse vein so like Butch the Birth they remind me a lot of that album very very heavy and I was really annoyed because the band formed in 2021 after the disbandment of a band called Bahas and I learned about them today and I thought they were fucking amazing and I mean they were really good I listened to it on Bandcamp pretty much all morning when I was doing my research for this video and I was gutted <laughs> that they don't exist anymore because I'd love to get that EP they put out but three of the members now are in this band and this is equally as heavy and just equally as brutal really gut rule they're now a four piece they were a five piece the vocal assistants just left so the guy on bass has picked up the vocal duties. But again, it's spot on. Like Scotland at the moment for death metal, they've got Scorda Tour, there's, there's so many great death metal bands. And the next one you'll see even more, you've probably already got a hit of it now. But it's just really, really heavy and really solid. And like I say, this is just, just an EP. So when these guys go for the full, full length, you know, with the whole hog, I imagine this will be on a big label because they are very, very heavy. And I bet they were Hoot Live as well. Because like I say, very slammy. But not in a slam death metal way, more in a, a smash you in the face way. So, yeah, Rancid Cadaver, go check it out. And lastly, the pick of the bunch for me, I've had so much fun listening to this EP, and it's a band that I've followed for a little while, but only out of pure curiosity more than anything, because they haven't put any music out until now, but they've been going probably since lockdown became a thing. So, the band formed around 2020 in Glasgow. And Rancid Cadaver, by the way, before that was a Glasgow band as well. So there's obviously something in the water that way. But this is a five piece that are like the Scottish version of Autopsy, should we say. Band is Brain Bath, this is their debut EP. No name for it, I don't think. Released, I think, on their own label, Macho Records, which I thought was really funny. Really, really cool. But this is fucking spot on. I mean, like, this doesn't sound like they're trying to copy anyone because all the other bands I can kind of compare them and I could say these sounds kind of like Autopsy but what I love about this is Ken's vocals on this he does sound really Scottish so it sounds like a Scottish guy to me doing death metal vocals and you can hear the accent and the growls and the gruff there's no copy he's not trying to sound like any other vocalist it's just him barking down the microphone and I really really like it it's just all from the heart I mean they all look fucking mental you know like they look like a lot of fun, you know. They're a good bunch of lads. I don't know if I'll focus enough, but like, Ken's even got that angry James Hetfield mullet when he was at his drunkest and everyone liked his music more. You know, I'm fairly sure they all wear pit vipers when they're on stage, even in the dark, which I think is brilliant. 
And yeah, I mean, riff wise, it's tons of riffs. It's got kind of like a crust punk kind of vibe to it as well. It's not blasty death metal where it's like all orchestrated technical riffing, nothing like that. It's all high energy, just flows really, really well. And the, like the way it's recorded as well, it's very natural sounding. Like it's mics just been put up in the top of the room and they're just told to press play and go. Obviously, it probably hasn't been done that way. But the best track on here for me was, um, I think it was Stripped Clean. I'm fairly sure that was the one. It's just the, the rhythm on that and the chorus. It's just really, really catchy. And I was humming it for fucking hours. You know, I even scored myself one of their long sleeves, which I'm really happy about. I wear this quite a lot. And yeah, and a band, you know, that have been around since 2020, since lockdown started, had no music put out at all. And they literally had just a T-shirt and you just see loads of people wearing it and you're thinking, well, that's fairly sure they haven't put any music out. Why are people supporting a band that haven't put any music out? But, you know, this also used to feature... Um, Dave, who's in a, a coffee mulch, is it coffee mulch? Yeah, on um, drums once, but they've now changed it up, so a little bit of history lesson there for you. So yeah, brain bath, I keep waving out the camera, just go fucking buy it. So yeah, that is my latest video of the new wave of British death metal. Please let me know in the comments section what you think the bands are, I'll put links to everything below. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and liking the video so other people can check it out when YouTube pimps it out. And I will pump content all around me for you to go check out. In the meantime, I hope you all take care and fucking stay macho.